All right, just making a quick video on this power station from Edo Story. This is probably the cheapest power station I've seen as far as like a pretty large capacity unit with a lot of good specs. Um, you know, and as far as overall for the, the watt hours per dollar, this might be the cheapest one out there. Now, you know, looking at this price, you got to almost kind of wonder, you know, is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know, maybe there's a reason it's so cheap. I mean, who knows? Um, that's kind of the, the question mark with this. But the one thing I'll say is actually um, this brand solar panels, um, they actually had these super cheap as well. They're, they're still pretty cheap, you know, with the coupon there. But um, they actually had these things for less than $200 um, for 200 watt panels. And so I actually jumped on these and I will be making uh, kind of a separate video on that as far as reviews on that. But, um, you know, the panels uh, actually seem pretty high quality to me. Um, and they put out good power. So, but you know, again, it's like, you know, it's solar panels. It's a, they're a little bit more of a simple product, right? I mean, it's kind of harder to, to screw up a solar panel. I don't know, you know, honestly, just kind of say this out front. I don't know if I would, um, trust, you know, getting a, a really super cheap power station like this, you know, solar panels, it's a different story, but the power station, you might want to just go with more of a name brand thing, but you know, Hey, if this is all you can afford, um, and you know, maybe it's worth taking a gamble. Also, um, one thing I would just really note is that if you are going to go, you know, go this route, um, you know, on Amazon here, they have these kind of like additional protection plans. I mean, look at this, you can get either the three year or the four year, it's not a whole lot of money and those are like basically like no questions asked uh warranties so i would just highly recommend if you are going to take a gamble on this product um, just get one of these protection plans and you know basically uh you know you'll be covered kind of no matter what happens they'll just replace it or refund it you know no questions asked um, you kind of have to you know look at the, the details and stuff like that but um, i think it's something like that and so, you know, if you do that, um, it might be kind of worth taking a look at this thing, right? Because, um, again, for that price and the specs here, we'll talk about the specs because the specs on this thing are actually pretty impressive. This is not like something that's lacking in, in specs either. Now, one thing that you might note is that um, if, if you're looking at some other kind of more budget power stations, you might kind of see some similarities between between this Edo story and these these uh, Vitomen, the, the Jumpmans, basically. These ones are kind of known for, you know, they have uh, this extra expandable battery, basically. This, you know, hence the name, Jump. Um, so they do have these. But if you look at them, you know, basically the, uh, it's almost the same product, right? I mean, you take a look at it. The front, all the front output, the, the screen, you know, every, it's basically the same take a look at it is basically the same thing but if you actually look at the specs on this thing um, there are some big improvements just across the board from all of those jump mans um, you know basically one is that the uh, the charging the input is, is totally different on this Edo story we actually get um, if we zoom in here we actually get uh, this is this is the AC input and this is just you know a standard there's no power brick it's just a standard AC cord and it actually does 1500 watts um, from the wall so this thing charges up like super fast and there's there's no settings either to kind of slow that down so that's another uh, drawback you know basically if you want to charge this thing from the wall you're going full speed ahead with that um, you know there's no slow charge um, but you can do you know other other inputs as well they got the kind of the standard you know 12 volt input um, and then for solar they actually have this one here is actually an Anderson and it's up to 400 watts, which is actually pretty decent specs. Um, now the, the voltage range is only 30 to 60 volts. So I kind of, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. So that's just something you, you got to note. Um, and then the USB outputs, they actually claim are, are 100 watts. So and you, there's two of them there. Um, it's got the same kind of jumper, you know, output for, for jumping your car battery or something like that. It's got the same kind of output that the, the jump mans have. Um, so whether or not, you know, the Jumpman extra battery could work with this thing, I mean, who knows? Uh, who knows about that? But, you know, it's still kind of a nice feature to have just, you know, regardless. Um, and now another thing that we get um, that the Jumpmans don't have is this 25 amp. So this is actually a, a 25 amp, like kind of RV aviation style output on there. And that's just kind of always nice to have, um, 
you'll be able to pull more DC power out of these things. You don't always have to rely on the inverter, especially if you've seen my other video talking about how you can actually get, um, you know, basically DC powered uh, inverters, small inverters, like you know, 200 watt, 300 watt, you know, 500 watt pure sine wave inverters. If you have something like that hooked up to the port like this, that that would kind of be perfect because then you can get a little bit more of an efficient inverter if you just want to run small loads. And so this thing is LFP battery, you know, so that 1,408 uh, watt out, and this is actually watt hours, and they're claiming uh, 2,000 cycles on that, so that's pretty good. Now, as I talked about, the charging is super fast from the wall, 45 minutes uh, to 80% is what they're saying. Now, one thing that, to note is that some of the, the reviewers have mentioned, and you might want to go through the reviews on this thing yourself, is that the fan noise is pretty loud, <laughs> you know, when you're charging this fast, you know, as, as expected. Um, but, you know, basically it's not just even when you're going, you know, max speed like this, um, the fan noise, it seems to be basically anytime you're using the inverter, you just expect the, the fan to be on and, and be making some noise. So, you know, it's not, you know, real sophisticated with that. Now for the inverter, we do get, you know, it is 1500 watts. So, um, you know, pretty good spec on that, and it is pure sine wave. Now, the one thing that you really got to note with this product, if you plan to use it for solar charging, is that um, the MPPT on this thing is actually kind of a little unusual. It only charges from 30 to 60 volts. So if you just have like, a, you know, a standard 18-volt um, solar panel, that thing is not going to work with, with this unit. You'd have to get two of those and then hook them up in series to double the voltage you know, to get at least um, 30 volts going into this thing. And now this is, this is also kind of a note with, these, with the solar panels of this brand um, that, I, that I mentioned, is that these panels actually, I'll just show you here, um, these panels are actually 36 volts um, each. <laughs> so, so, you know, the idea is here, you could, you could actually just use the one panel. Um, you don't have to have two panels two of these panels, these specifically these panels, you don't have to have two of them to work with this power station because each one of these is 36 volts. Now, if you do get two of these panels, you have to use uh, a parallel cable. And I think they might include this with the bundle that comes with two, two solar panels. I'm not, I'm not sure. You'll have to take a look at that. I mean, you can always get, you know, MC4 parallel uh, connectors, you know, aftermarket if needed. Um, but you would definitely have to hook two of these in parallel because again, uh, 36 volts each, you know, so if you hook these in series, that would be double that, you know, basically 72 volts. And again, this is, you know, it's only 30 to 60 volts going into this thing for solar. So you, you just got to make a note of that. And it's right here, <laughs> you know, it's right there, right at the bottom of this thing. So, you, you know, and, and then also on here. Um, they don't actually show any of these pictures, but um, there is a little light on the back, which, which actually I'm kind of a big fan of having lights on the back. It just give you a little bit of extra uh, ambient light, you know, and um, it's just always nice to have that right on the power station. And I think, yeah, that's about it. So um, yeah, something you might want to take a look at. And then, you know, like I said, if you do, if you are serious about uh, buying this thing, uh, I would definitely take a look at um, adding the protection plan on this thing. Just to um, just to kind of you know uh, cover cover yourself you know just in case the the price on this thing is too good to be true right um, so but yeah something you might want to just still uh, take a look at or consider and hopefully you kind of found this whole overview helpful or interesting and yeah thanks for watching.